Hello everyone, I'm standing here in uh, Kiryat Loza. Kiryat Loza is one of the two places where Samaritans today live. Now many of you may ask, what is a Samaritan? Well, a Samaritan is uh, someone who, back many generations ago, about the time of the Second Temple, around uh, 70 AD, about 70 to maybe 10 AD or so, there was a group of uh, priests, in Hebrew known as uh, Kohanim, and they decided that they wanted to marry women that were not Jewish, so they converted them not properly. And the result was that you had a lot of people that they thought they were Jewish, and they would still do a lot of the Jewish things, such as uh, sacrifice, and they would keep keep the Sabbath like Jews, they put on tefillin like Jews, they do everything that Jews do according to both the written and the oral tradition. However, they, they weren't Jewish because, again, they didn't marry Jewish women and the conversions were not valid. So because of that, they weren't Jewish. Today, there's two places where they live. One is in Holon, Israel, which is, according to the United community, Israel proper. And they live here in Kiryat Loza. Now, Kiryat Loza is centered here in the, in the West Bank. Right behind me is the city of uh, Nablus. Nablus, in Hebrew, is called Shechem. When the Romans came and conquered Israel, they wanted to erase any trace of Jewishness. So they called it the uh, Neopolis. Now Neopolis, which would mean new city. In Hebrew, they wanted to erase any kind of Hebrew remnants of it. So back Jerusalem they called it Neo Capitolina, the new capital. And here they called it Neo Neopolis, which in Latin would mean new city. In Arabic, however, it's pronounced Nablus because there's no real P in Arabic, it's only a B, so they pronounce it Nablus. The Samaritans used to live actually in Nablus itself. What happened was because of the uh, second intifada and the first intifada, there was so much violence that happened that they actually had to move up here for safety. Also, uh, one thing that's very interesting about the Samaritans is that they don't put on uh, tefillin. And the reason why is because when the Arabs said that they put on the fill and they had assumed they were Jews and there was a chance that they might kill them. So because of that, they decided that they're not going to put on the fill for fear of, uh, of, of being murdered for, 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 being, uh, for being Jewish, according to the Arabs. So they stopped putting on the fill and they don't put on the fill anymore. Another thing that's interesting about the Samaritans is that their Sukkot, they do it inside their house instead of outside, which is contrary to obviously Jewish law. But that's part of their tradition is during Sukkot, when they, the festival of uh, tabernacles, they'll put it actually in the house. So that's another thing that deviates a little bit from the traditional Jewish way of life, where we would keep our, suk our sukkahs outside. A sukkah, by the way, is a small hut that is uh, used for eating and sleeping during the festival of tabernacles, also known as Sukkot in Hebrew. So this is where they live. This is you know, where they able to, they, they have both a green uh, certificate that allows them to go in and out of uh, the West Bank cities like Nablus, and they also have a, uh, a blue card that allows them to go into Israeli sections as well. So they're a very interesting uh, group of people here. They have a lot of history. According to, um, to their own history, they say that there was millions of them that lived here before, um, you know, be, it was uh, be before that the Romans came and before the exile and stuff. So this is it. And as you see, this is uh, Nablus here, you know, um, where Joseph is buried. And we're going to see the tomb of Joseph later. So this is the view.